Welcome guys, this is the Partner Project Live. For those of you that have not visited before, I am gigified. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about domain names and answering some questions a little bit later on. Um, but I wanted to jump right into it to kind of get through it, get through it quickly, see how quickly I can possibly do it. So obviously one question that I get asked all the time regarding websites is how do you get a domain name and even worse is how do you get a domain name for free. So I'm going to be kind of covering those different things and showing you some different alternatives free as well as paid alternatives. So let's get right into it and let's get going. there the little intro but it was kind of nice all right so um one of the things that uh i wanted to describe to you is what domains actually are and why we need them so um the best way to get started describing it is to describe what happens whenever you post a website to the internet um whenever you do post a website to the internet people reference it uh, can get it by going to what's called an IP address. Each website posted to the internet is assigned an IP address which is essentially like a phone number so that people can um, uh, type it into their web browser and actually go to it. So um, how do you know what a website's IP address is? Because everybody, every website has one, you just normally don't see it. One method of doing that is so if you open up a command prompt you can type in um, ping and just for this example we'll use Google so if you do ping in Google it you, you see all these different numbers it says reply from and then a series of numbers and in Google's case it's 74.125.225.83 so if we were to open up a um, new uh, web browser and type those numbers in. Let's see, what were they again? 74.125.225.83 and if you just type those into your web browser, hit enter, it'll take you to Google. So that's that proves that this is Google's IP address and um, uh, obviously if every website just use IP address it would get confusing as crap to remember these things um, so that's where domain names come into play these websites are assigned domain names to to make them easier to memorize and go to and those domain names just point to this IP address so it's kinda like a mask it's it's masking the IP address um, to make it easier to remember so um, so that makes it a lot easier to memorize, a lot easier to go through. And there's a few different types of domain names to consider whenever you're thinking about doing this. Um, and one of them is uh, a, called a subdomain. That's one type of domain name. And the other is, is called uh, a top level domain and I'll discuss both of those kind of uh, quickly. The subdomain ones are generally free so I'm going to start with those. Um, if you've ever signed up for a free web hosting service and they give you uh, a name for your site so that you can access your site it's generally a subdomain if you're if you're using the free service. Um, for instance on uh, Buzzfrag, whenever I signed up at triple zero webhost.net, if um, again I hit the wrong button, all right, if you signed up at triple zero webhost, they assign you a subdomain. And the one that I got when I made the Buzzfrag site is buzzfrag.net or dot net sixteen dot net. So buzzfrag is a subdomain and net16.net is the top level domain. 
and um, so those are generally free and and there were there's some uh, suggestions that I got from my forum um, of others other services kind of like this if you don't want to use like a free web host or anything like that and one of those is uh, um, free domain dot co dot nr and it's it's at this website and another one is um, I don't have it pulled up but it's co dot cc and what happens with these is if you sign up for your free subdomain it will be www.whateveryouwant.co.cc in this case and um, and that's how they can keep them free is they don't give you an actual top level domain name so a lot of people are wondering about top level dom top level domain names which would be www.tinkernut.com for instance and how you can get those and how you can get them for free well the short answer is they aren't free um, and there's a reason for that there's a uh, um, a service called I can and uh, this is developed to keep websites and IP addresses in order so that the internet doesn't crash and and here's their Wikipedia article it's essentially just a, a corporation that oversees um, the creation of IP addresses and domain names and what they've set up is registrar services so you can go and register a domain name and the reason they have that in place is so that um, there there aren't duplicate domain names out there and just to keep track of how many domain names there are and and if more IP addresses need to be created to accommodate those and the registration service isn't free it costs something so to register a domain using these registrar services you have to pay something um, or the debt has to be paid so that's why uh, domain names aren't free. Now I'm going to get to some free ways, free ways to kind of skirt that registration fee. But domain names themselves um, actually have a fee, and that fee, in some way, has to be uh, taken care of. Um, so instead of going directly to a registrar service a domain name registrar service you can go to kind of uh, secondary services such as uh, godaddy.com or dreamhost.com which offer um, a domain name service and you can pay like a, a yearly fee and they'll keep your domain registered for you you don't actually own the domain it's more kind of like renting or leasing the domain and what's interesting is that if you actually wanted to buy a domain and have it as your own and um, and never have to rent it or lease it then you're looking at paying hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars to actually own a domain so when you're going to GoDaddy or DreamHost and purchasing a domain you're actually purchasing a license for it instead of purchasing the domain itself and if you look at the Wikipedia article for domain name services um, scroll to the bottom you can see kind of what some of these domain names cost uh, of what they sold for like uh, insure.com sold for 16 million dollars in 2009 and then uh, last year sex.com sold for 14 million dollars so if you're looking to buy a domain name flat out then you've got to be pretty wealthy unfortunately um, so those are the different kind of uh, um, domains that are uh, are available to you the subdomains as well as the actual domains now like I said there are some ways to kind of skirt the issue and for the people in in chat I will post these links for you now as I mentioned there are ways to kind of skirt the um, the registration fee and one of the most popular ways to do that is to just not get a dot com domain and get kind of like a secondary domain that's kind of cheaper and the most popular one that's out there is .tk 
and um, I'll post this link in the chat real quick here's the website itself and what you can do is just enter in a domain name that you want and um, see if it's available and if it is then uh, let's just let's look at buzzfrag not buzzrag buzzfrag and just click go and it looks like it is available and then what it does is it then forwards it to your current domain so let's let's use this buzzfrag address I'll just go ahead and actually fill this out um, and then you can set how long you want it for let's say for a year and then enter in all this crap and then I think just click sign up It'll probably make me sign in so let me tick you off that screen while I create an account And essentially what it does is it will give me buzzfrag.com or .tk and it's, and it's going to forward me to the buzzfrag.net, you know, my subdomain, which makes it a lot easier. And how they keep it free is it actually posts, every time somebody uses your .tk address, it, um, it shows like an ad, a pop-up ad. And through the revenue of that pop-up ad is how they keep it free that goes towards the registration fee so even though it says it's free it's not completely free it's not actually free there there is money that's coming in somehow is there there's money that is exchanged um, so there, there's I have to verify it now I'm not gonna worry about showing you guys that but there is another option and this was mentioned in my forum as well um, by username Dara and I appreciate this I'll post it in chat and I'm not really recommending this I've used services like this before and have had a really bad experience but this website claims that it will give you a .com domain name for free and um, the way that they do that is you have to complete offers first so you go to their website you sign up for an account and they send you um, offers like quizzes like uh, um, forms and um, questionnaires to fill out from their advertisers and once you do that they get revenue from their advertisers and that goes towards the registration fee so that uh, it's it seems like it would be difficult and annoying to maintain because essentially they're spamming you and through that spam they're making money and you're getting a free com domain name so if that's worth it to you that's a free alternative and again that's easy free dot com um, but uh, if, if you have a good experience with that, I would love to hear about it. I'd love to know if this actually works because I'll recommend it to more people. But as of right now, I, I don't really think it's a good alternative. I think the $10 a month would be worth the headache. But if you don't have the $10 a month and you don't mind the headache, then this might be a good alternative for you. So... Um, Another thing to mention is for those of you that are hosting your website from home, that's kind of a different issue because your IP address is not registered with ICANN. So you have to find a different alternative as far as getting a domain name. And there was a, a really, really good alternative called DynDNS, which was free, but now it's no longer free. So I thought I'd mention a couple of alternatives to Dyne DNS. And essentially how this works is you sign up for um, for either Dyne DNS or these free alternatives. And they give you a domain name that you can then point to your home IP address. And no matter where you are, you can type that in and it will connect you to your home address. And you can, you can register your IP address if you want. Um, but... Uh, this is kind of a, a good 
simple free alternative because again registering your IP address and domain name will cost money so Zunami is the first one and uh, um, another one is zoneedit.com so those are some free alternatives I really like Dyn DNS and it's a shame that they kind of went under or they didn't go under they just got rid of their free uh, service and now you have to pay for it so those are some free alternatives for Dyn DNS so if you're running a website from home that's the best free alternative for you um, all right so now you have some free alternatives as well as paid alternatives alternatives so you should have some good options as far as getting a domain name for your site just choose the one that fits best for you and it's not the domain name that really counts it really makes your site popular it's the content of it there's a lot of websites that um, are on blogger.com that are really popular and they don't have an actual domain they just have the blogger.com subdomain so choose the one that fits best for you and um, but there's not going to be a live cast next week because I'll be on holiday so I just wanted to um, let you guys know that the next live cast will probably be next year and I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be about I'll take some suggestions but with that, I will end the Partner Project live cast here, and I'll see you guys next week.